Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? Y'all know the world is yours. The world is yours. Whose world is this? Y'all know the world is yours. Yo, yo, it's yours. Whose world is this, this, this? I gotta, you know, be the DJ. It, whose world is this? I'll scratch it. <laughs> whose world is this? The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? <laughs> As you can see, I'm back from South Florida, back in Charlotte, that is. And, um, you know, I got off the plane early this morning. And as you can see, you know, this is this is how dedicated I am in, you know, becoming a healthier person. As soon as I got off that plane, a friend of mine and I went to the Dow Gym. And in the Dow Gym, you know, they have a rooftop track. That's where I was at. Or that's where we were at, right? And no lie, man, it's 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 very uh, inspirational up there, motivational up there. You know, you working out, and everybody else is working out amongst you. You know, and um, the backdrop is the skyline, as you can see, in the skyline of Uptown Charlotte. You know, and I'm not gonna lie, man, I it's not too much bad I can say about Charlotte, at least in my life. Not too much, right? Now I can complain, but the complaints that I make is, you know, across the board. This is happening around America, all around America in the United States. You know, that's, you know, the high gas prices, the high food prices, you know, um, rent, you know, is going up. The housing market is ridiculous in a negative way for uh, first time owners. Starter homes and stuff like that. Corporations are, are buying up starter homes, and now your landlord landlords are corporations. For the most part, man, I live live a decent life here in Charlotte. And some may ask, "Well, if you live a decent life, Langston, why are you relocating?" And that is for those that have experienced that, right? You outgrow a city Straight up It gets to the point where there is nothing else Left there For you So what you have to do In that case is relocate To somewhere, somewhere that you feel as though Well in your mind you know as though That it's better You understand So I chose To uh, Go down to South Florida And other places to see, you know, what's available. Like, hey, South Florida, decent place to live. You know, is Houston a different place to live? A decent, excuse me, decent place to live. Uh, um, uh, um, Austin, um, Tampa, Orlando, Phoenix, Raleigh, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina. I've, I've actually lived in those two cities, but you, you get what I'm saying. So this past week, I went down to South Florida. Now, I've been to South Florida, you know, quite a few times, you know. But, of course, it's just like you all, you know. You, you, I'm a tourist, you know. I'm vacationing. But this particular time, I went down there to actually look for, you know, a place to stay. You know, and checking out their, um, uh, South Florida, that is. Checking out, you know, how they get down, how, how they do things, you know, um, the gas, high gas prices, the, the food prices, the this, the that, or whatever have you. So I can compare the two. You know, is Charlotte more expensive than South Florida? Is South Florida more expensive than Charlotte? You know, I hear this, this all the time. You know, people will say that South Florida has gotten ridiculous. And it's just, it's nowhere in the world they could live there. So I decided 
to take matters in my, into my own hands. And I went down there. And I'm not going to lie. I started comparing. As soon as I got down, down there, I got to work. I drove to a, a Publix. Oh, let me see the prices of food here. Now, you know, originally, Publix was a Florida thing. And it crept up here, you know, on the East Coast. I don't know how far the Publix goes up, but I know we have Publix here in Charlotte. So I don't know. Maybe it stops at Virginia. I don't know. So I'm comparing the, the prices, you know, the Publix, Publix here in Charlotte and the Publix there in South Florida. And I could tell you that's my word. Some prices were 20 to 30 cent more, while other prices were less than what I may purchase in Publix. Uh, yeah, yeah, in, in Publix, Charlotte, here in Charlotte. So I couldn't get like a kind of like a, um, how can I put it? I couldn't get a, like a a, a, a a big difference in price far as dealing with food. Ah, uh, forget it. You know what? Let me go to a super Target and a super Walmart. Did that. Say the same thing. The same thing. So my research, food may be a 20 to 30 percent. 20 to 30 cent more at certain items while others may be less we have to understand that florida is a sunshine state it it's hot well i'll say south florida that is it's hot year long so produce fruits vegetables those things grow year long so you have to understand like when you're relocating Everybody relocates, right? And the gender may be different. Age may be different. Overall demographics. For me, when they said that you could grow fruit and vegetables year long and dragon fruit grows like you could just pluck that shit off and coconuts and all of For me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more of a natural person. I'm more of a person that will go to a a a a a um a food stand that's right off the street, you know what I'm saying? And buy some like when I was in the West Indies, that's what I did. I didn't go to no grocery store. I went to your man that got the long knotty dreads, right? And he was on the side of the road. He had about two or three children with him, running around, and he had a fruit slash vegetable stand. That's how I get down. Right? So then I went to the gas station, of course. In the hood, gas prices is $4.35. And, um, you know, of course, well-to-do places, areas rather. Gas is all the way up to about $4.65. Now, the car that I drive, um, I that car takes 87 octane. So, truth be told, hey, I don't really like going into the hood, but I will go into the hood to get cheap, cheaper gas. So, when I look at um, South Florida's gas, for the average from what I'm seeing is about $4.50, right? And I can use my, my Shell Rewards card and get $5 off of that. $5. What am I saying? <laughs> Excuse me. Five cent off of that. So my gas, if I go to Shell using my, my reward, rewards card, would be about four dollars and fifty forty five cents. Excuse me. Or I can go in the hood and get it for four dollars and thirty five cents. Now here in Charlotte, the gas is I've seen it at the highest four dollars and thirty five cent. I've seen it at the lowest. You can go to South Carolina, in which I'm right down the street from, um, about four dollars and nineteen cent. So we're talking about a couple cents different. Far as rent, right? Now, some of you all, I understand that you want to be homeowners. I get it, you know, and that I can't really like get into that because I don't have any type of experience on purchasing homes, but definitely renting homes, apartments and all of that stuff, right? So I did my research. I went around and checked prices or whatever, and I'm seeing a three to five hundred dollar difference in rent 
compared to Charlotte. So technically, South Florida is more expensive than Charlotte, but not that much. Not that much. Not to the point where if, say for example, I move down there, right? And let's say a month later, I'm in a poor, poor house. That's not it. So this is what I want to say real quick, right? It just depends on who moves to wherever they're moving to. You understand? Someone such as myself, South Florida is like a, a jewel, a gem. You want to know why? Because I'm a natural guy. I'm a natural guy. I'm a beach guy, I'm an outdoors guy, and I'm a frugal guy. I don't like spending a whole bunch of goddamn money. You understand? So someone such as myself, like take for example, um, on weekends, right? You know how so a lot of you all have like, you know, your whole weekends set up for yourself, right? And, and your family, if you have family, right? And it requires money. So most people go out to eat on the weekends. Most people go out to the bars and, you know, the restaurants and the this to that and except movies, clubs, all of that stuff. I'm not one of those persons. I'm the type of person to say, you know what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a Netflix movie. Or I'll wait, like, say, for example, the movie called The Batman. I'm not going to the movie theater to see that. You know, I'm not. I'm going to wait until the, it comes on Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, any any one of those apps, you know, and get it from there. And then I'm going to go to the store and get me some, you know, a couple vegetables and shit like that. Make me uh, put put the, the vegetables on the grill. Make me a vegetable kebab. You know, um, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person go to the, to the beach. You know, I need, you know, bottle of water, a couple of chips here and there, whatever have you. And that's it. I'm a real frugal person. So when a, when I hear people talk about how, man, you know, South Florida is too expensive as this, is that, blah, 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 blah. It just depends on who you're talking about and what lifestyle they live. I live a very frugal lifestyle, a very independent, sovereign lifestyle, a very disciplined lifestyle. So I don't need to eat ice cream every Monday. I don't need to go. I don't need to have a favorite restaurant that I go to every Thursday and Sunday. See, this is the thing. A lot of times people's people's priorities are chopped and screwed. So for other people, when they say, oh, that's too expensive, that place is too expensive to, to, to live in and blah, 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 blah. You got to look at what is that person's budget? And then you could determine whether that guy is uh, or, or female is 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 like saying speaking the truth or not. You know, I got I know somebody that that uh, orders DoorDash every day. So for someone such like such as that person, if they moved to South Florida and they weren't able to eat DoorDash every day, they would say that South Florida is too expensive. Do you understand where I'm coming from? It's not for me. I mean, when you really look at it. Okay. Two to five hundred difference in rent. Couple of cents different in food and um, gas prices. And probably other stuff that, that I fail to mention because I, I don't, I've never literally lived down there. Right? You know, hurricane season, you have to have, what, flood insurance and stuff like that. But for the most part, from what I'm seeing, it kind of balances out. You know, there's no state tax there, right? You get all types of discounts and 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 and, and uh, 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 price reductions and stuff like that if you're a resident of Florida. It's, I've said this a numerous of times, it's a state where... That state is a staycation, meaning that, man, 20 minutes, like say, for example, if I live in, I don't know, Sunrise, Sunrise, Florida, right? 
um, in Broward County, right? If I live in Sunrise, I'm about, a, what, about 40 minutes away. For, depends on traffic. I'm anywhere between 30 to an hour away from the beach. I'm anywhere, uh, what, what is it, from, let's say Miami, Miami, uh, Florida, South, you know, in South Florida, located in South Florida, Miami. You all know Miami, right? So I'm, in, I'm living in Miami. I decide I want to take my kids to Disneyland. That's about three, three and a half hours away. Homestead. Not Homestead. Let me take that back. Florida Keys. That's about three hours away. Just think about that. And normally if you're living in, let's say, for example, New York, you got to worry about the, the flight to get there. To, let's say, 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 for example, you're vacationing to Miami. You got to worry about the flight, right? The price of the flight, the Airbnb, the rental, the food, all that. If I'm living in Florida, do I really got to worry about all that shit? No, I don't need a plane to get to the, <laughs> I don't need a plane to get to the beach. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a resident, if I'm a local there, I get discounts when I go to Disneyland. I get discounts when I go to um, uh, Great Adventures Africa. Man, I don't know what y'all talking about. I do understand. Yes, true indeed. It is, it is technically expensive, but not that much expensive than Charlotte. It's just not. Now, if y'all want to talk about tolls, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, now, I will say that yes, Florida has, uh, South Florida has tolls, and it's some of those tolls. From what I'm seeing, it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. Like yeah, you can take this back road, but that back road, taking that back road, may take you an extra 20, 30 minutes to get to your destination. And they know that. They know that. So it's kind of like you're forced to, you know, go through the tolls and stuff like that to get to where you have to go on time. But let me tell you something. Charlotte is not that far away from Florida. South Florida, that is. We have tolls. Um, starting from Huntersville, going all the way down up to Uptown. They're building tolls as we speak on 485. Starting from, um, this is crazy. So it's Western House Road Boulevard. Excuse me, Western House Boulevard. Located in South Charlotte. That's crazy. The irony of it, you know, I'm living in, I live in Southwest Charlotte. And I'm, I'm thinking about moving to Southwest Florida. Well, South Florida, but Southwest Florida, like Miramar area, Hollywood, um, Pembroke Pines and all that area. But anyway, West, Western House Boulevard, and it's going to go all the way up to, I think, Monroe. And then they have uh, tolls in these little towns, like on the way back from Myrtle Beach. Nowadays, it's unavoidable. On the way back from Myrtle Beach, to Charlotte, you have to go through a toll. And I can tell you, those tolls are not a game. So you're thinking, well, South Florida is this, that, and so forth. Well, let me tell you something. Charlotte is creeping up right behind it. I'm making a point. Just hear me out on everything. Right? So I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, I, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. And then, like, just say, for example, if you're tired of Disneyland, you're tired of the beaches. You're tired of Great Adventures Africa. You're tired of the zoos. You're tired of the Everglades. You're tired of the oh so much shit to do in that damn state. Right? You are, let's not even talk about it. if you're a sports fan, you're not gonna get tired of shit. You understand? You got Tampa Bay Buccaneers right up the street. You got Jacksonville Jaguars right up the street. You got Mar Miami Dolphins right up the street. You got Orlando Magic, Miami Heat. Come on, man. Let's just say you just get tired of all of that shit. And you decide, you know what, man? I want to go to Bahamas. I want to go to U.S. Virgin Islands. I want to go to Puerto Rico. I want to go to the uh, 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 Dominican Republic, Haiti. You know what I'm saying? The Caribbeans. That's a, that's a hop, jump, skip away. Matter of fact, if you know anyone that has a boat, somebody could take you there to one of those islands. So it just all depends on your lifestyle. So may, let me make this all relevant for me and the type of lifestyle that I have. South Florida, I'm not saying I'm not making it my home. I'm just saying for now. 
it 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 looks it looks good to me. It does. I'm willing to pay a, a extra three. I'm saying if I were to decide today on where I wanted to relocate to, I'm willing to pay those extra three to five hundred dollars because I'm getting a state tax break. I'm living in a state where it's a staycation. I'm living in an environment where I can grow my own food year long. And if I'm just, if I don't feel like doing that, I could go to any type of stand. I've done my homework. I could go to Little Haiti any and every day and get me some fresh produce and vegetables. I'm a thinker. While a lot of other people are not. Let me tell you something in 2022, the reason why people are saying this place is too high to live and this place is too high to live in and this and that and so forth is because we're not living in 1995 anymore. If you're not making six figures, you're going to have to do five, six, seven different things. This is the problem. We, 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 t we have this lifestyle that we can't live. Can't live it. If you're not making a substantial amount of money in 2022. So what we have to do is stop this state of mind of putting our eggs in all in one basket. And what I mean by that is working one job. That ain't going to cut it unless you're making a substantial amount of money. Unless you're making six figures. Then, uh, yeah, you can afford it. But if you can't, such as myself, you know. I, I, I can't make six figures. I, I'm not making six figures right now. But what I can do is I can make, I can, excuse me, I can work two, three, four, five jobs to add up to the, that six figures that I need, of money that I need. You understand? So we definitely have to change our state of mind. And it's not like, it, don't, it doesn't look like they're letting up. And what I mean by they're letting up, the ones that control this whole damn thing, whoever they may be. Whether it's the Illuminati, the this, the that, and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't look like they're going to, they're, they're letting up on gas prices. And, and of course, you know, these economists and analysts and this and that and so forth will give you all types of reasons why, you know, that, you know, there's high gas prices and there's this and that and blah, blah. I don't even want to hear none of that shit. I just know one thing. One is whoever's running this shit is not letting up. And two is we, the people, are just taking it. Um, we being real, right? We just taking it in the ass. All we doing is bitching and complaining. We don't want to do shit about our current situation. And our current situation is high gas prices, high food prices, hyperinflation. We got a, a president that's just that slay, stays sleep all the time called Sleepy Joe. We got a bunch of jackasses running Capitol Hill right now. And I'm not going to lie. And, 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 and whatever, what is it, 2024, I think? I just may vote. And I'm not voting, voting for a bunch of jackasses. Because it's obvious they can't do the fucking job. Right. So I'm going to have to vote for that motherfucker that got the trunk. As a nose. The elephants. Straight up. And if you don't know what gang I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about the Bloods. Yes, the Red Party, the Republicans. At the end of the day, man, I just want to say this. I'm on my Mary J. Blige shit. I just want to be happy, man. And if South, South Florida makes me happy, that's where I'm going. If Charlotte makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? And I don't see no other option. You know, I've 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 actually laid all my options out on the table and I've been to this place, this place, this place, this place, this place. And I can tell you that Charlotte is the best out of all of them. If if Charlotte if it's where if Charlotte is where I supposed to be for the rest of my life, I'll be there. 